De regreso aquí en Auto 060 y bueno, estuvimos ahí en la experiencia en Willow Springs con el The Best of AMG and uh, now we're going to switch to English because we're going to talk to Michael Harley, one of the most uh, important journalists uh, on the West Coast uh, and actually on the country because he's on the web, uh, autoblog.com uh, to talk about his uh, opinion, his, uh, his impression of this uh, AMG, Best of AMG experience at the Willow Springs in California. Well, Michael, thank you very much for uh, taking the time out of the track because I know you love doing that. You were here at Willow Springs driving all the AMG products. And, like, since you have driven pretty much everything this year since I follow you closely, uh, what, what's your opinion of this car? Uh, first and foremost, have you looked at the big track cars? Those were the uh, the SLS, SLS Black Series cars. Uh, I was probably most impressed the fact that the SLS Black is such a jump above the standard SLS. You know, the standard SLS has got a hard ride. It's a super fast car. You know, some people would call it, you know, it's an exotic. It's a supercar. But the, the Black Series is such an improvement in performance-wise. You know, you've got a wider track front and rear. The whole front clip is brand new. You've got new body work. You've got new aerodynamics, uh, new suspension tuning. And the uh, you know, transmission's been upgraded. And it's such a step up. And uh, a lot of times automakers come out with performance packages where they yeah. say, you know, We've done this, this, this. We're going to call them an S model or Ma something. Mainly cosmetics sometimes. Yeah, right? they're almost all cosmetics. And maybe you say, okay, you, you know, you and I get behind the wheel and go, okay. You know, nobody would ever notice the difference. But the uh, the Black Series is such a changeover. It's night and day. You could blindfold someone in the passenger seat and, uh, you know, they think there were two different cars. I was able to go in the standard SLS after spending all day lapping the Black And it, it felt like it had a plush <laughs> ride, which is something exactly. you'd never, ever say. Yeah. So. It's pretty amazing how that technology, I mean, the hard work of the engineering, like, they have these modes to drive, and then you press a button, it changes everything, right? Yeah, the car completely transforms itself. And uh, part of the fun was getting in the car and switching, you know, three or four different transmission shift modes. You had the... Uh, the multi-level suspension settings and on this track this is a bumpy track we're out at the big track at Willow and it's got some serious dips and when yeah. you're doing 100 to 140 miles an hour you don't want to be hitting these bumps hard <laughs> and launching wheels into the air so it was nice to be able to adjust the suspension where it was compliant enough to actually swallow the impact yeah. and uh, keep the car on the road and actually it makes like a, a bad driver like me a little bit better <laughs> uh, we're all bad drivers compared to the pros they had exactly I, mean, I just drove with Matias uh, <laughs> There is the, the, the CEO of AMG, and it's amazing like, how he can really push the car. Yeah, he took me out for some hot laps yesterday, and he kept chuckling. We'd be going into the corners, and I think we were going to die. And I'd look up, and I'd see the walls coming, and yeah. he'd laugh and say, it's my baby, <laughs> and get on the gas, and we'd just shoot off to the next corner. I yeah, mean, he knows those things, you know, like the back of his know, hand. He makes them, so he, he better knows them, right? A lot of fun. So, uh, Michael, as I was saying, I mean, I, no, no seriousness. I mean, uh, seriousness. I, I follow you, and like you drive every single car that I was out there. Been lucky. Yeah, exactly. So, how, how do you com how do you compare this car with others that you have driven this year? You've been in the Lamborghinis, you've been in the new Porsche, everything. You, the top cars. You come into these events uh, with expectations. You think certain cars are going to perform certain ways, and uh, most of the time, they generally. You know, they generally do exactly what you think they're going to do. Uh, the car at today's AMG event that most blew my mind would probably be the wagon. Yeah, me of too. all the things, me too. it was you know the, the name is just stupendously long. It's uh, the AMG you know E. 63S AMG Formatic Wagon, exactly. but it, what it really means is it goes really, really fast with you know as many people as you want. And uh, the nice thing is, you know, it's got 577 horsepower. And in the old days, you know, with 577 horsepower in a rear-wheel drive car, you got a ton of oversteer. And this thing just it just launches, and all you get is wheel spin. But the nice thing about the wagon is you've got Formatic, you have the extra 200 pounds because of the extra you know body shell on the back wheels which actually balances the car out, and I've said over and over again, with the 4MATIC, it reduces the understeer, um, and it reduces the oversteer at the same time. It reduces the understeer yeah. because when you go into these corners, you can apply a little power, shift the weight backwards evenly, and it reduces the oversteer when you come out of the corners because you get on the gas and the front wheels are pulling you around. I mean, they're splitting the torque, I think, uh, 33 in the front and 67 in the back, 
But it's a really, really bounce, and that car flies. I mean, yeah. zero to and 15, then, three then and a half dri- seconds. Yeah, you're driving it, and then you forget how much car you have. You have yeah, you're, behind you, right? You look at the rear view mirror, and then all of a sudden you go, oh, my gosh, I'm driving a wagon. <laughs> exactly. And uh, what's even more exciting is being in the wagon or being in another car following the wagon. <laughs> and you're flying down these, you know, down the streets. You toss the car into the corner, and you look up, and there's a station wagon in front of you. And you can't catch it. Exactly. It's, and, amazing. Uh, it's an amazing vehicle. That's a lot of fun. So uh, where can uh, our audience can follow follow your your autoblog.com obviously but like tell us more about it. Autoblog.com and uh, we're trying to do more and more track stuff this year. Um, we've covered a lot of fun stuff. Upcoming stories, uh, got some Aston Martin stories coming. Uh, hopefully get a spin of the 918 Spider, Porsche's uh, oh, the hybrid. upcoming hybrid. And uh, hopefully next year I get a spin of the P1. But, wow, nice, the no, McLaren. So we'll see. But trying to keep, do some things that are fun and exciting. And uh, the nice thing, you know, these are all supercars, but the most enjoyable part is you're tasting the technology that's going to trickle down into almost all the consumer part, you know, consumer cars in the near future. Um, like you said, the multi-mode transmission, the multi-mode suspensions, the transmissions and things like that, that stuff eventually trickles down. Years ago, only the race cars had the dual-clutch transmission, exactly, yeah. and now everybody's getting a dual-clutch. And uh, so these supercars that we're seeing, the lightweight carbon fiber, the active aerodynamics, you know, these are cars that people are going to be driving 10 to 15 years from now. It's going to be standard equipment. Exactly, and pretty so. exciting for us uh, to, to be doing it right here, right? right. So, thank you very much again no for complaint. your time, Michael, and uh, again, I'll keep following you on autoblog.com. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Y los espero en la próxima edición de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.